Hello everybody and welcome to your next C-Sharp XNA platformer tutorial. Uh, so last tutorial we never got as far as we wanted to but uh, hopefully in this tutorial we'll get much farther um, than we did before. Okay so we can assume for now that the set tile class is done and what we're going to do quickly is we're going to create an animation instance and in set tile we're gonna say animation load content and we're gonna have our, our tile image and we're gonna have our string and we're gonna have our position okay so notice that we don't have we don't actually have a content so I've already done this but I want you to go to screen manager and in your property section, just create a public content manager called con content and just return the content, right? Because the reason we can do this is that we don't actually copy the content. We're just using its service provider. So any content that we get is actually indeed fine. Um, so let us go back to that tile.cs. So what we're going to do is we're going to do screen manager dot instance dot content okay and what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna put a draw command we just want to get it up to the state where it was before you know what I mean we don't uh, we don't want to put in the fancy stuff yet so we're just gonna put a draw command and uh, that is it for now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to layer dot cs so we're going to add in the necessary files that we need okay uh, so uh, this is a fresh new class so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create uh, a list of tiles and we'll call this tiles we need our attributes and our contents oh man I can't type tonight anyways um so we got that and you know we're just gonna have their low content method so this is gonna contain of a map and a layer I layer ID so we're not gonna be loading the layers like we did the last time when we load all the layers into um all in at, all at once we're going to have each layer each one load its own layer and I'm going to show you the modifications I made to the map class because you're going to need to do these as well. So, sorry, before we had the tile dimensions within our, our, our layer, but I made a new thing called load properties. Now, you can have it that the tile dimensions are within your layer, right? You can do that. And you can have it that each layer has different tile dimensions. For example, if you have one tile sheet that has like um, the tiles are 64 by 64 tiles, then you can do that if you'd like to. Uh, but it kind of gets, uh, when you get, once you get into com uh, collision and stuff like that, it can get quite confusing to do. And it's just much better to have a uniform tile dimension. So that's why I have a separate thing called map properties that has a uniform tile dimension. Okay. Uh, so what we what we're doing now is that we I have something called low layer one. So each layer is going to have its own individual tile sheet, have its own individual set of motions, have its own tiles that are solid and whatever. So if you want to if you want to say like have one tile sheet just full of grass or full of ground tiles right then you can do that for one layer then in the, ne in the next layer you can have a uh, something just full of platform tiles right and so on and so forth so you can dis um, divide your tiles uh, accordingly and I kind of got that idea because I used to use RPG maker back in the past whatever and I remember using RPG ma maker that on each map you could only use one tile set right and I was saying that like I didn't really like that because if you want to use an image from another tile set you'd either have to make your own tile set your own big tile set or you would have to just go with what the tile set gives you with this one you can use multiple tile sets on each layer so you can do whatever you need to do on a certain layer so anyways um 
that's a cool feature that I have in there. So what I've added in is that I've added in a new load identity an identifier called map properties so our first layer is called um, layer one and we have end low layer one in there so uh, this will we get the solid tiles so um, for solid this just lets us know which tile is indeed um, solid and which tile is in and I'm just gonna change this up right here just to make it um, I guess easier or you know what I'll just keep it like that so uh, this for the motion it will tell us which tile which number tile we're talking about and what type of motion we want us to do so whether it's horizontal vertical etc etc and this is this hasn't changed on um, which tiles that we actually want and then our actual layer okay so let's go to our layer.cs and let us do all the loading that we need to do so we need to include the file manager as well We need a content manager. And just let me zoom in the text a bit so you guys can probably see that better. Okay, so we're gonna say tiles is equal to new tile. Uh we have our attributes, we have our contents. Uh we have our file manager. And um, some other things that we're gonna have to add in is a motion and solid. So we get to see which ones have certain motions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. So once we have our file manager, we're gonna do our load content. Uh, we're gonna load from our maps like we did before. Plus, but this time, uh, what we're gonna have to do is go to our map file. And I never showed you this because I already did this ahead of time. But I made a new string called ID. And I made a property called ID as well. And it returns the ID of um, the map. So whenever we call load content on the map, then we set ID equal to the map ID. And yeah, it makes it much easier that way. Okay. Uh, so let's go back to layer. So we have in our map ID plus our file extension. We have our attributes, we have our contents. Last but not least, the identifier is a layer ID. Okay, so we're going to loop through it like we always do. And that should be familiar to you. So we'll say switch attributes ID. So now we're going to say case tile set. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna load in our tile set. But first we gotta make a texture 2D of it. Uh, just say tile sheet or whatever. Up to you what you really wanna name it. It's your it's your game. So we're gonna say, and sorry, we gotta make a content. So we gotta say content equals new content manager, screen manager, instance content service provider, and the root directory is content. Okay, so we load in content dot load texture two D, and my all my tile sets are in the tile sets folder. So I'll just do tile sets plus contents ij. Simple enough. We should already know what that stuff does. So we're gonna do another case, and we're gonna do it for solid tiles. So if it's solid, then we load in do solid add add that in and same for motion so just let me check quickly how much time I have left okay so uh, that uh, I'm gonna end it there cuz I don't want to make it too long and in the next tutorial we should have the map up and running so that is it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And bye.